Alrighty, so we have a fun one here. So the always entertaining Bobby Green is is coming back and he's fighting a legit striker. Um, an absolute masterful striker in Raphael Fiziev. So break down the striking of these two. So for Fiziev, he's got that kickboxing background and he's he's very tight with everything he throws. It just comes at you so damn quick. Like it's um it's got a lot of snap behind his kicks. He's just throws them with perfect technique. His best kick would probably be that switch body kick versus orthodox fighters. Since he's versing a southpaw and Bobby Green, well, Bobby Green can fight either stance, but primarily he's been fighting southpaw a lot lately. So Fiziev's just going to be throwing the straight body kick. High kick as well when he's versing southpaws. His straight right's fast, he's got hands too. You know, nice left rip to the body and then a fast straight right. You know, that's I think what he finished Moicano with, was with the left rip to the body, dropped his hands, and then real quick... Uh, powerful two up the middle. Uh, but he likes to finish a boxing combination with a body kick, likes to switch body kick at the end of a combination. I'm expecting him to finish a lot of his boxing combinations with a body kick, just a rear leg body kick uh, against Bobby Green because he's a southpaw. And defensively, he's very good too. Like, if you slow down his fights, you see his reactions are just quicker than a lot, you know, a lot of other fighters. Like, he... He just sees the, like, the movements in the shoulder. He just sees it better than, you know, your average UFC fighter would be. He's seen it a million times. You, you rarely see him get caught by a naked strike. Like, say, if, if someone just popped out the jab at him, you rarely see him get caught by that. You rarely see him get caught by a right overhand or a right straight. Like, he just sees it coming from a mile away. He's, he's very good defensively and just got very good instincts on a lot of experience. Uh, for Bobby Green, he's mostly known as a striker as well boxing primarily uh he likes to keep his hands low to bait you in and then he throws the straight right or the counter two you know as you're coming in but you know you're playing with fire there with fiziev if you're going to keep your hands low and yeah because it, it, this guy's just so quick like this guy will just if you're going to play the counter game with your hands low and try and bait you in and you know go speed for speed i don't see it any too well for bobby green but bobby green he does have good head movement can get a little predictable because he's basically just leaning back to avoid strikes and yeah it, it could be it could be uh lights out if he gets too predictable in front of fiziev because yeah fiziev he makes reads really quickly and he's just seen it all a million times how these guys win fights so for fiziev he's got good striker defense his hands up his hands always up his chin's always tucked but he also has very good you know reflexes which i talked about before to slip shots and he's lightning quick you know speed kills in these lower weight classes and uh, for Bobby Green, he's got good cardio, good volume, pass to victory for these two. So for Bobby Green, come in with that heavy forward pressure, don't give him any space. Uh, constant jabs, constant two, well, constant jabs, but then pick your twos well. Like, don't just go crazy with the right hand. Um, but yeah, pop out the jab. I know it's southpaw versus orthodox, but it's um, you got to kind of get him shelling up so you can see his offense coming a bit better. Uh, but yeah, mostly probably grapple, you know, fence clinch. Uh, push him against the fence, uh, use whatever wrestling you have, <laughs> and try and get this guy down. Uh, try and catch a kick and and take him to the ground after that, like catch one of his body kicks, maybe trip the back leg. Uh, for Fiziev, uh, look for the body kicks, high kicks when he comes out in southpaw. If he comes out in orthodox, look for the low calf kicks. Uh, get him to lean a certain way uh, by throwing something. So say if you throw a jab and he starts leaning, uh, hold up, I'm just... So Fiziev's orthodox, yeah. So if you pop the jab out and he's leaning back, or if he's leaning to his left, um, then you've got the read that he's going to move to his left after you pop the jab or you throw the left hook. And then after he's leaning a certain way, then you can throw up the high kick and get him to kind of walk into it or move into it. Uh, but also in the clinch, look for knees to the body. Look for hard knees too. Make him not want to clinch up and not want to close the distance. How I see the fight going? Anytime Bobby Green faced a great striker in the UFC, he got completely dominated. I'm talking about guys like Barboza and Dustin Poirier. Uh, like, he's going to look like Anderson Silva with the hands low and the head movement when he's facing guys like Clay Guida, Patrick, Lando. But, you know, you'll see the levels between these two guys on the feet on Saturday night. Uh, I broke it down briefly. Well, I briefly broke down Fiziev uh, before, but the guy is just so damn good at striking. Like, he's very good defensively, very fast. Punches and kicks come at you like an absolute bullet train. 
like Bobby Green, he better not fuck around on the feet because, you know, that's what he usually does and Fiziev's not going to be fucking around, so I don't think he should come in with his usual antics um, in this one. Uh, but Green, I think he will try and ground Fiziev, but the guy's shown really solid takedown defense throughout his career so far. I can't see Green getting him down. Fiziev off his back is still an unknown because his takedown defense has literally been perfect in the UFC so far, and also I couldn't find any footage of him on his back in regional scene fights. Like, I don't know if the dude's ever been taken down in a professional fight. Uh, like, Fiziev could potentially slip, and Green just, like, ends up on top, and he just, like, stays on top of him for the whole round. Like, you don't know. You just don't really know. He trains at Sanford MMA, which is a very good gym, so I'd imagine his game has been rounding out quite nicely behind the scenes. I'm expecting a Fiziev KO. I uh, wouldn't be surprised at a shutout decision, but I've definitely got Fiziev in this one. Alright, if you guys could uh, pretty please like the video, that'd be fantastic. Cheers, thanks so much for that. Yep, all that good stuff. Alright, so prediction is Fiziev by KO. I think he eventually finds the chin of Bobby Green. Uh, I do favour him quite a significant by a, quite a significant margin. I think he wins around 70% of the time. You know, with, with these, you know, in MMA, it's very hard to predict, and a lot of these fights end up being closer than they really should be, because a lot of them go strike for strike, and, you know, it ends up being a little closer. I think Fiziev is the best striker, and if it goes strike for strike, I'd favour him, but, you know, how much do I favour him? Around 70% of the time, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, it, you got to be careful with who you play, you're paying chalk on, you know. A lot of unknowns with Fiziev, uh, bottom game, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so, yeah, you yeah, you got to be careful who you paying chalk on, because lately we've seen just big, big favourites, like huge favourites, just get, um, just get in really close fights and not represent their money line just at all lately, and it's a trend lately, you know. So you do have to watch out for who you're paying money on, uh, but I've got uh, Fizzy have to win, but if Bobby Green gets like $5 or something silly, or $4.50 or plus $3.50, I'd probably look at that, you know, just because of the unknowns. I don't think he's going to win on the feet, uh, but just because of the unknowns, uh, I'd bet Bobby Green there. Fiziev KO, if that's like $3.50 or plus two fifty, dollars don't expect I'm going to get that price, but it would be nice, and if I do, I might hit that, but not yeah, I don't really like the, the money line at the moment for either guy, really, because I think Bobby Green's going to lose at a very high clip, and I don't want to pay chalk on Fiziev, so I'm kind of stuck, you know, in this matchup.